Okay, y'all, so we are here, and y'all know what we're here for. We're here to discuss Win Beauty, which is Serena Williams' new makeup brand. Um, it's so crazy. I didn't even know since it was coming out with a makeup brand. I just happened to see it on Trend Mood when I was looking. So I was like, girl, what kind of makeup is she going to give? Okay, so, um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and try out these new products. You guys know I am not someone that just buys the whole line because, baby, I ain't got it like that. I ain't got it like that, okay? But I did go ahead and pick up a couple um, of her products that I wanted to try out for myself. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Um, I got a few face products and then I got a couple lip products. Oh, and I also got, um, the purchase came with like a free travel bag. I'll insert it somewhere, I think, I hope. I'll insert it somewhere so you guys can see it. But the one thing I thought that was so cute about this line is that the color screams tennis. Like this bright green color just makes you, it just puts you in the mind of tennis. And I think the branding is very on point. Point? Point. For what this got going on. Okay, so I love that. That was the first thing that really caught my eye about the collection. Of the line, I just picked up because you got y'all know I don't really do like makeup makeup like that anymore. I'm really just like a base type of girl. Not that she really has any eye products here besides the mascara and the liner, but I didn't need those. So I just picked up the skin tint and the lip and cheek stain that I think I'm just gonna try to use as a blush. Well, I don't know, we'll see. And then um, I just picked up two concealers and a lip serum. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and try out today. Um, I'll tell you guys about the product as I use it so you guys can, you know, see if it's something that you are interested in. So the skin tint just looks like this. Like I said, it's that beautiful, like I love this green color, it springs. It screams, it screams spring and summer. It's so pretty, but it also screams tennis. And then you can see like the little peekaboo situation right here. You guys know that I buy everything offline, so I'm always literally guessing. I'm always guessing about the shade and things like that. So um, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, y'all. So the directions say to shake well before you. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do it says that you can blend into skin to build desired coverage um, so it's a refreshing gel cream texture it feels lightweight it's easy to blend and let skin shine through um, it looks like it has um, SPF protection shield skin from the Sun and it says it's a truly unstoppable hydro complex for up to 72 hours of hydration it's supposed to be long wear vegan cruelty free safe for sensitive skin um, and free of parabens mineral oil and talc it looks like there are 36 shades um, and at Ulta this retails for $29 um, and yeah we're gonna go ahead and blend this out um, I do think that it's very skin like like you can still see as I'm blending that this is just blending into the skin it's just giving my skin a little bit more hydration like it says so let's go ahead and check out the rest okay y'all so this was that one pump that I showed you guys and as you can see you can still see a lot of my imperfections on my skin um, this is very 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 natural coverage this is not like medium or anything like that it's a natural cover it's a skin tint so it's just supposed to kind of even out your skin tone make your skin look healthier um even with the evening out part i don't feel like it did anything as far as evening evening anything out of my skin so we're gonna go ahead and go with another pump but initially um it is very dewy very hydrating looking and um upon first look i don't like that y'all know that i am like an oily girl like i get very oily in my t-zone area and i'm not somebody that really goes for like a dewy type of anything <laughs> because baby it gets it gets it gets a mess okay but um we're still gonna go through this like i would do any other makeup routine as far as setting it so we'll see how it goes from there so let me go ahead i'm gonna do two more pumps of this because i just feel like that didn't do anything for me um you guys can see on my skin like on my hand this is oxidized from what i initially put on my hand which i don't know if i'm a fan of that because i don't know can y'all see that it looks way darker so I'm just gonna go ahead and do two more and we're gonna try to 
get a little bit more coverage. Okay, y'all, so that was another two pumps. Um, I can't do any more because I feel like I am getting super, super oily looking, dewy looking, wet looking, and baby, I don't, I don't live that life, okay? So um, this is what it looks like. This is three pumps. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't really know how I feel. I feel like to me on camera, it's looking very patchy. I don't see that in real life, but on camera it looks super patchy and I'm not sure why that is I also do feel like it is oxidi oxidizing which I mean I will probably this will probably work very well for me in the summertime but right now it's giving darker than my skin tone um, and I don't feel like this is the color that originally pumped out of the product but that's okay I mean we can that's we can work with that it's not bad at all Okay, well, this is this is what we have to work with. Like I said, the base is not really, I mean, this is very skin-like. So if you are somebody that really likes natural, natural makeup, I think you'll really like this. Um, again, I'm gonna have to set my face because, girl, I can't, I can't be dewy looking like this. But let's go ahead and do concealer. So I got two of her concealers because I didn't know, like online, Oops. I didn't know which one to get. Um, so I initially got this, which one is this at I don't know why I got this shade I mean I could definitely use this though I can mix it with like other concealers to make them just a little bit brighter under the eye because I don't really have like a brightening brightening concealer um, but this is the one that I went back for because that one was too light on its own this one is shift number 300 and we're gonna go ahead and use shift today but like I said I'm not gonna take back act because that can just be used as like a brightening situation when I wear other concealers. But let's go ahead and try this out. This is the applicator. Standard. I mean, it's a flat doe foot. And I think the purpose of our line is to be very like natural. So we're not gonna do like a lot of concealer. This is actually a really good shade for me if I'm just gonna wear it on its own. So um, while this is kind of like drying down, let me show you guys the swatch of ACT, which is again, way too light for me y'all, but um, I still just wanna show you because I can use this as like a brightening effect if I wanted to go that route. Focus, please. It's not this light, it's the light y'all, hold on. It's a little darker from what you guys are seeing. I can't get it to really show you the color with the light, but it's a little, little, did I say darker? Yeah, it is darker. It's a little darker than what you're seeing on camera right now. Okay, y'all, so you can see that this gave us a little bit more coverage, the concealer that is. It definitely gave us just a little bit more coverage, especially under the eyes, because you guys know I have, like, really deep set, like, bags under my eye right there, if you can see. Um, thanks to the product that were on my skin, because my bags were never, like, this deep set. But if you guys watch that video, the product that were on my skin, I'll link it just shameless plug go watch that one too but um yeah now I just have these really really deep set like bags um that I can't get rid of so if you guys have any recommendations for that that's not a part of this video but if you guys have any recommendations um you know ways to get rid of that let me know because 
I'm interested. But anyways, the concealer definitely added more coverage, if you guys can see. It's a great color for my skin tone, so um, I'm not mad at that. I could have went lighter, like I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this just kind of blended in to my skin tone, even though this is not really like my skin tone color, but um, I could have went a little lighter, and that's what that other concealer is for, but we're not doing all that today. We're gonna keep this very, very natural, because I have other videos that I want to film I don't want to really give like in your face you know what I'm saying so but this is what that looks like so I'm gonna leave this alone for right now we are going to come back to like setting the eyes and that type of thing because you guys know that I have to set my face because again I am an oily girl girl and I can't go anywhere especially out in this heat I can't go anywhere without setting so we'll come back to that but the next thing that I wanted to try out y'all was the lip and cheek stain and I got this color right here I am like all about these super bright like colors and I think this is gonna be like very very pretty for the spring and summer this is in the shade advance like I said it is a lip and a cheek stain let's go ahead and swatch it I didn't get any of the lipstick so I'm wondering should I use this for both but I am just one of those people that don't like to use products, like the same product for two different things. I don't like that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So let's first, I'm just going to put some more on my hand. We're going to use it on the cheeks first. Okay. So let me get a brush. Um, well, what can we use? We're going to go ahead and just use this. I'm going to tap in here. And I'm gonna just kind of dab a little bit of it off because I don't know how pigmented this is. And we're just gonna start working this on the cheek. I'm I'm expecting this to not, ooh, it's bright for sure. But I'm hoping that because it is like a stain, it should stay on the skin for a very long time is what I'm expecting. So it's, ooh, it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty color though. Like I love the color. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and just work this in. You guys can watch while I try to work it in. okay so again it's not like super and I you guys know I used a lot because I wanted you to be able to see it and it's just it's just a stain I mean it gives you a little bit of color but not anything crazy at all whatsoever like you know not anything crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera y'all I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face and we're gonna see what the final result looks like oh and then we'll come back and use this as a lip stain and use the serum as well so I'll be back okay y'all so we are back the rest of the face is basically on it's set um, if you guys are curious what did I use so for bronzer I use the hula caramel uh, I just put a little bronzer on my cheeks what else did I do I use the Laura Mercier, I don't know where it is, but you guys know what Laura Mercier is. I use that to set the eyes, um, set the nose, and up here on the forehead, and then I use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which is dang near empty, so you guys will see this in an empties coming soon, but um, I use that to set the rest of my face. Now, what I will say, just looking at the face right now, this again is a very, very natural look. If you guys can see, I can barely see that cheek lip and cheek stain that I put on my lips I can't even see it um the foundation or skin tint I mean it's basically non-existent like it's just I think it just it just evens out the skin uh, makes the skin look really smooth but as far as like coverage the cover there's no coverage there's no coverage like you can see 
you can still see all my little marks, my beauty marks, my hyperpigmentation. You can see it all, girl. Um, so this is definitely for the natural girlies. But let's go ahead and um, try this lip tint on the lips. And then we'll use the lip serum. And then we're going to be done, girl. I had a little bit of the e.l.f. Balm, which you guys know is my favorite. Um, I have a little bit of that on my lips. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use a liner because I always do. It's just gonna be a brown liner. And if you care, this is LA Girls Chocolate. And now that I've determined that I'm probably never gonna use that lip and cheek stain for the cheeks, cause it just does absolutely nothing for my cheeks, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the applicator and just use it on my lips. And we'll just use it for this purpose now and forevermore. <laughs> I will say the color is pretty. Definitely. Sorry. I'm going to I'm going to stop doing that to y'all. I swear I am. Definitely bold. Definitely for I mean, you can use this anytime, I guess. If you kind of deepen it with a little bit of a deeper liner, you could wear it in the winter and fall too. I kind of wanted to like we want it to dry down so we can see how it's gonna set and is it like kiss proof, you know what I'm saying? I will say as it's drying down on my lips, it's tingly, but not in like the plumping way. It's like tingly, kind of like, I feel like it's irritating my lips. Just, just a little heads up. It's still not dry yet. I don't know if I've ever seen like a lip stain take this long to dry. I'm gonna like give it a little bit of time and then I'm gonna come back, we'll do the lip serum and then we'll be done. I just kinda wanna see what this feels like dry down. I don't like the way this is feeling on my lips though, y'all. I'm sorry about it, I don't, but we'll be back. So let's see. It's cute though, I like the color. I, I can't lie, I really like the color. And I think this color stained like just on your lips outside all day, it's cute, okay? I like that it, it kinda like accentuates them. And I like it. So, I'm cool with that, okay? So the last thing that we're gonna try is the Wim Beauty, uh, the lip serum, and I got mine in Engage, I think that says. Girl, I'm getting old. These eyes don't eye like they're supposed to. I think that says engage. I don't know. I'll leave it across the screen. But this is what it looks like. And it's just a lip serum, y'all. It's not like a gloss. So um, it's literally just for some hydration. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the lips. Oh, juicy. Oh, I ooh, I like the way that feels on my lips. It's very hydrating. It's very hydrating, and I like the juiciness that it gave to this lip combo, this lip look. I think it's cute. I don't expect that serum to last all day. It's literally a serum. It's not a gloss, y'all. Okay, it's just a serum. But um, I do like how it feels on the lips. I feel like if you need to just have something in your purse to just kind of keep your lips moisturized, that's going to be the one. It's it's cute. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's cute. Okay, y'all. So this is my first impression of everything, okay? So let's start with the skin tint. I will not know exactly how I feel. This is not going to be like a long wear because I literally just got back from Ulta buying this stuff and I couldn't wait to try it on. It's like 8.30. Let me show you guys. It's 8.35. So I'm definitely about to just go ahead and take this off. But 
come back light okay i'm definitely about to go ahead and just take this off so it's not going to be like how it, there's no long word test in this video okay but i will say that I do like this like I feel like even with the color just looking at the color on me now like I felt like it was oxidizing in the beginning but I feel like it it looks fine on my skin tone like I feel like it blended very well I mean it literally blended into basically nothing so I guess that 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 works um, it's not anything that's gonna give you any type of coverage remember y'all I use three pumps of this and you can still see all of my flaws on my face so if you are somebody that really has like if you're trying to cover anything this is not this is not for you but if you are just a, a girly that likes a natural look but you want your skin kind of evened out you don't mind showing like your little freckles or little imperfections or whatever like that then it's cute I like it it's very light on the skin I'm not getting like any tackiness any stickiness any anything like that I don't feel like I have anything on the skin so I do like that about it and I think the determining factor is just gonna be like how long until this starts looking crazy on my skin which I can't test today but maybe I'll do that in a short in a future video or something like that now um, the two concealers the Win beauty concealers again I got two of them but in this video I use 300 shift um, but I also got two 55 act in case I ever want to like do a very highlighted look I will say that I like the concealers I feel like it set under the eye really good I feel like I don't have any like creasing um, so yeah I like it again it's gonna it's gonna what's gonna be the deciding factor is how long my eyes stay looking the way they look right now but I feel like it gave enough coverage to the skin because this didn't really give much but it's not like full coverage you know what I mean so it's a good everyday like I just need to like cover if you get it in your skin tone I feel like it's just a good everyday concealer if you just need to kind of like cover up your bags um, cover up little dark marks or whatever the case I think it's good I think the whole line is really for the natural girls I'm gonna be honest this is not her first drop was not really something for the makeup girls that like to to doll it up you know what I'm saying this is a natural line so just keep that in mind as you purchase these um the other product that I tried out was the Wim Beauty uh what is this called y'all MVP most versatile pigment I don't know lip and cheek stain so on the on the cheeks you can see it on the cheeks you can definitely see that it has stained my cheeks and again if you like that very natural look if you like it to just be a stain not really too too pigmented not too much going on then you'll like this on your cheeks as a stain I am not using this on my cheeks this is not the type of thing that I go for um, I like my cream blushes and I like my powder blushes and this will not be in the rotation of those however I do like it on my lips now I will say that that tingling that I was getting which is not like a plumping tingling it didn't plump anything it's just I don't know something was making my lips tingle I don't know what's in this so I'm not sure it's gone now but I do like how it stained the lips I like the color and so when the color washes off I should still be left with something like this on the lips and I I like that okay so I like it for that reason and then last but not least we got the um, the lip serum which I'm a lip serum girly okay I I'll buy all the lip serums as long as they're like affordably priced I, I know that a lip serum is not gonna last me all day like it's just something to hydrate the lips and this feels so good on the lips it makes the lips feel very moist very hydrated just good just good so I like it um, I would definitely repurchase this so all in all those are my reviews of the how many products that I get one two three four products that I got from Win Beauty again I feel like this line is based on or centered around the natural girlies um, so if you are somebody that is just looking for just a little bit of added coverage in the spring and summertime you don't want to do too much with the makeup which none of us really should want to because it's gonna be hot okay it was 87 degrees today in Charlotte so Mm. but um, if you are like a natural girly and you um, just want something to kind of even out the skin tone give you a fresh natural look I I like it I like the line I really do so um, yeah that's just my two cents <laughs> if you guys like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up share the video with 
everybody that you love, okay? Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys on my next video, okay? Bye.